Hi, this is Velarde, and today I'm going to teach you how to fit any sample to any tempo you have. So I'm going to put the sample in right now. And right now, it has a BPM of 90, and my BPM is 30, right? So, obviously, when I play the metronome, it's going to be off. Right? One way you could tell it's off is because the metronome, obviously, but right here, Right here, it's not um, on the line exactly. It's not on each line here. So that's one thing to know that it's, that it's off. Um, but if, see, but don't get tricked though. If you if you turn off the metronome, it'll seem like, it'll seem like it's on beat. But just remember those things, to click the metronome, which is this thing right here, and to check this, that it's actually on the line of each uh, thing. So, um, how you deal with that is you go to the channel rack and then the sound is right here, the sample. You click that and you go to mode right here and you go to E3 generic. And all you do to get it on, on tempo is you mess with this time thing right here. So, I'm going to move this a little bit. Now it's on tempo and you haven't lost you haven't lost a pitch either of the sample. And that's important, too, because sometimes when I'm um, trying to get on tempo, um, if you if you like say if I was to go up here and just to change the BPM of the song altogether, then it'll just it'll just make it a lot slower than even the 90 like it'll just be off. So I make sure I double click here and I go to time, but make sure to set my mode to E3 generic. And then I move it however long it needs to be until it's on tempo with the metronome up here. And um, so if I want to change the pitch, you know, I, what I do is I click mode and I go to stretch. And then now I'm going to change the pitch here with this pitch uh, knob right here. So. All right. So. That's how you change the pitch, and um, it's very simple, and, you know, I remember trying to figure this out for so long, I was, like, watching so many people with samples, and they just setting stuff up, and I was so confused on how they did it, and no one ever really, like, I watched tutorials, and no one fully explained exactly how to do it, and I was so happy I, like, you know, I'm able to help you guys with this in a simple way, because... Sometimes sim simplicity is best. Complexity has its purpose, but for things like this, you want to just make this simple so you can enjoy the production process. So I hope I helped you out with your production with using samples. Subscribe to me below for more videos and tutorials on how to make beats and just new content in general. Until next time, peace out.